With the fall season and someone that works in the food dessert space, I'm sure that the season really kind of lights you up. When you think about the recipes and the foods that you love, but you know you need to edit the ingredients to fit better with your diet, like what are some of those fall desserts that you love? And then what are the ingredients that you tend to swap to make them a little more healthier? So we just launched like our pumpkin spice cookie dough for fall, even though you know, I'm in LA and it's 90 degrees still, but it's, you know, everyone loves pumpkin spice. It's really fun. It's really delicious. And so what actually I just made last week that was so good was using our pumpkin spice cookie dough as like a base of a cheesecake. Okay, and, created. and this is like, um, a no bake cheesecake. I mean, you bake the cookie dough to be the crust, but then you make the filling and just freeze it. So it's just really refreshing for summer and light. So instead of using like sour cream, I always sub out like Greek yogurt, like a whole milk, you know, thick Greek yogurt. I try to sweeten things with honey or maple syrup. Um, if if that works in the recipe, those liquid sugars don't always, you know, work in all recipes. I love to make, we made s'mores this summer a lot using our breakfast biscuits instead of graham crackers. So like our, we have breakfast biscuits that are like crunchy and great for on the go, great for breakfast. They have, you know, four grams of protein and they're whole grain and a good source of fiber. And so they're just, there's way more in them than like a graham cracker. And so we used our cinnamon sugar flavor in my air fryer because we didn't have like, you know, a fireplace to roast marshmallows for s'mores and put chocolate and marshmallow, like really good quality chocolate, like Hue chocolate, you know, and marshmallows and use them. And it was so, so good and just didn't feel empty. You know, it was like, felt like a really yummy snack. So tons of fun ways to kind of make your favorite treats feel like fall and make them healthier. How far in advance do you start working on a new season's product? So how far in advance did you start creating the fall cookies that you put out? So supermarkets are crazy in that they meet with you once a year, pretty much. Once a year, you get to meet the supermarket and they're buying for the next year. So you have to be planning a year out, you know, always. And it's exhausting and kind of crazy to be able to like plan that far out. But, you know, a supermarket is setting their whole stores. They're thinking about when they're going to buy, you know, how much they're going to buy. So, you know, we have like a whole seasonal program that we created a couple of years ago where we launched pumpkin spice cookie dough in August, and then it rolls into gingerbread and then into chocolate mint. And so supermarkets know what to expect. And, you know, we don't change that, you know, it's year after year, but yeah, it's kind of like a year out that, you know, and, and that's cookie dough. I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's easy for us. We know how to do cookie dough. We specialize in cookie dough. So to create a new flavor, doesn't take that long. Creating a whole new product, like a breakfast biscuit, or we just launched refrigerated puff pastry or refrigerated pizza dough. Those things took years, you know, because they were a whole new machinery factory type of product. So other products, you know, take longer to kind of plan or create new flavors.